It's time to rate 7 YouTubers in order of greatness. Brian. I'm better so. Shut up. Hello, it's Merz and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be rating this Sidemen. Okay, I won't talk like that. So I have put them, categorized the 7 YouTubers as the worst Sidemen of the bunch to the best Sidemen. So let's get straight to this. Also, I have a shout out for two YouTubers at the end of the video, so stick around to see who they are. So the disclaimer is here, basically this is just my personal opinion out of the seven YouTubers, what I think they should be at. Uh, no hate comments please, it's just a little bit of fun, let's get straight into it. Okay, the worst Simon of the bunch is Harry. I'm really sorry to all the Road to Shore fans, from a gamer of FIFA who opened packs to throwing the chair. I mean, if someone saw me do that, they would uh, be like, are you all right? <laughs> and he's a bit too weird for my liking. And the weird diss tracks and everything. I just think Harry is just nowhere where I think he should be. So I'm really sorry to all you Roadshow fans, but I think he is the worst out of the lot. Next up, the not so great Simon is Ethan. I've Ethan caused a bit of a stir with the group. Obviously, there was a bit of an altercation between himself and JJ, which, to be honest, I don't really care about. Not only that, um, his claim to fame is obviously gaming. Um, I don't know about much about Ethan, and that my personal opinion is, I don't know where he stands in the group, so that's why he's not really so great in the group, so that's why I've put him there. Next in is the, in the bottom three of the Simon is Simon, aka Miniminta. And I don't know where he stands either because he's just JJ's friend. I'm sure, I'm sure there is some content from him that is pretty decent. Uh, but the diss track for Deji was a little bit cringeworthy. So I, especially when it says England is my city. When did England become a city? Anyway, he's in the bottom three. And now we move on to the Marmite of all Sidemen. You either love him or hate him. He's an average Sidemen. It's Vic. The thing is with Vic, again, you, you can like the guy, you don't like the guy. He seems pretty much right in the middle there for me and I don't see, I don't see anything more than that. So for me, he is pretty much average. In the top three, you will find that surprisingly, it's KSI, JJ. Now let me explain about something. KSI is a fantastic YouTuber. Controversial, but fantastic. From where he's been to where he is now is phenomenal. And I deserve, he deserves every success. However, as like every successful uh, YouTuber, I'm sure he may, in the future, he may leave the Sidemen. And it's like every band, there's always one member that goes on to greater things. However, in the group, he is a little bit not quite leaderish. So it's a good thing, but on the other hand, it's just, he's not the best because he's sometimes, you don't know which KSI you're going to get, a wild, a, a over happily excited KSI, or a somber KSI, you don't know. It's just JJ in the end of the day, but in the end of the day, he's not my best Sidemen out of the seven. That's why he's in the top three. He's in the top three because he is likable, but controversial at the same time. So we move on to nearly the best Sidemen, and this is where, again, you'll find it surprising that I put Josh a second. Josh, funny enough, out of all the seven YouTubers back in, 10 years ago, was actually the most known YouTuber out of the seven. The other seven, the six, sorry, the other six were just not quite started up yet, but he was getting bigger. But then all the other YouTubers started getting bigger than he was. And uh, I don't know, maybe his content was a little bit lacking or something. But Josh, aka Zerka, is calm and collected. When you see the 1,000 versus 10,000 pound holiday uh, video, he's more the leader out of the group and he does a grand job of it. And I'm sure, I'm sure out of all of them, 
he is the one who is the mastermind behind all the all the uh, what's it planning and stuff. But uh, what's it with Josh? I think he's nearly there. He's not the best, but he is nearly there. So I've put him there. Okay, so we are about to reveal who is, and you probably already know anyway after me talking about it for about a minute. It is Toby. <laughs> it's Toby. Toby, I look at him and I he looks like a down-to-earth humble guy. He looks like a person who doesn't go wild, he doesn't uh was it shout and scream and all over the place. Toby is my favourite. Toby is the best out of the seven. And um, you may agree with me or not, but that's how I feel about him, really. So out of all the Simon, Toby is the best. So this is the full graph of the seven of the YouTubers. Um, what do you think? I mean, do you think they should be going up and down? I mean, Josh, uh, Josh was in the right, sorry, not Josh. Ethan and Simon were close to being switched over, but I thought I'll just leave it as that, really. But what do you guys think? Comment below and, uh, and please, no hate comments, it's just for fun. So let's move on to the two YouTubers I will uh, shout out. The first is the Clucker Bros. Oh my word, this guy is funny. His channel is hilarious. He's been doing videos of stick men, but placing the face of like the likes of the Sidemen and other YouTubers on there as like explaining stuff in under two minutes. But it's just the way it's hilariously done. And it's all done on paint, which is so simple and funny. And I, I recommend you to go and see his channel. And the second one is their special guest for the Sidemen uh, channel in three occasions, I believe. It's Rafa Young, aka Phil. He too is, he's funny, he's something about this guy, he is hilarious and when he goes into film mode, oh my word, it, it's just takes it, takes the video to a next level or something with them. So um, again, please go and see his channel and if you liked this video and you think it was great, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel and turn the bell on so you don't miss a thing. Last thing before I do leave, obviously, Final Fantasy videos are still ongoing, so please bear with me on that. And the FIFA series is on hold till, uh, was it, till further notice. But for now, I will leave you guys off. So um, that's it from me, and I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are. Thanks, bye.